Hello, I'm Joe Wren. An Indiana Senate panel has endorsed rolling back a proposal that aimed to severely limit workplace COVID-19 vaccine requirements. A change to the bill approved today by the Senate's Health Committee require businesses to grant medical vaccine exemptions to workers, along with religious exemptions as required by federal law. Now, opponents of vaccine requirements lined up against the Senate's proposal, arguing that federal laws have been inadequate in protecting people's rights. Brown County Schools is investigating a letter that would allow parents to opt their children out of Black History Month-inspired diversity lessons. Sprunica Elementary School counselor Benjamin White detailed his plan in a letter to spend the next two weeks going to different classes in honor of Black History Month. But he wrote parents uncomfortable with the idea could opt their kids out of the lessons. In an emailed statement, Superintendent Emily Tracy said the corporation does not allow students and parents to opt out of required curriculum. She said she was looking into the matter. And the Bloomington Board of Public Works approved a contract for tree clearing along 17th Street for a new multi-use path on the north side of the road. The $22,000 contract allows Monroe LLC to temporarily close the road between Grant and Monroe Streets. The contractor may have to stop traffic in both directions for approximately 15 minutes when a tree is being brought down. The project will ultimately stretch from IU's Memorial Stadium to the roundabout behind Tri-North Middle School. Now, here's a quick check of the weather forecast. First for tonight, rain in the forecast, overnight lows falling to 52 degrees. More rain tomorrow, Thursday, 43, sunny and uh, warm or colder still on Friday, 34. It warms up on Sunday, though, sunny, highs into the mid-50s. We have more news on our website. It's all at WTIUnews.org.